So guys, my jig box was an absolute mess. So I dumped it. Because pretty much that's the only way you're going to get it back in order again is to dump it. And I could go out and buy a $40 jig groove box. Or I could put it back in this Plano 2900. And make this work. So my plan is to make my own type of groove box. So what I've done to start here is I've taken this packing styrofoam and I have cut a block out of it. And this block is gonna fit in these compartments here, the bigger compartments. And then I'm gonna make the jigs fit I'm going to make the jigs fit into that. So what I'm going to have to do probably is cut this in half because it's too wide or maybe even thirds and slide it in there. And then I'll show you what's happening here. Now that's so what I'm going to do because this is too wide this way. And I'm going to take a utility knife and I'm going to cut down the sides all the way around. And it's kind of segmented anyhow, so you can kind of pick a segment that you think is going to work. I'm going three segments here with this one. And we'll cut it all the way around. And once we get it close, I can finish it off with the old loud machine, the old loud zip saw. And then we'll just separate it. And then we end up with that piece right there. And I got two more pieces. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut grooves in it with this deal right here. About every maybe three quarters of an inch apart or so. And you could do this with a utility knife also, but this just seemed to be easier for me. And now we're going to take that and we're going to slide it in here. Like so. And then now the plan is we can take a group of jigs, for example, brown or green pumpkin jigs, and we can stick them right in the groove there. And we can do it that way, or we can do it the other way. Might mess up the weed guard if we do it the other way, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick to this way right here. And we can line those jigs up by color in each spot maybe slightly different colors and I can do that with each compartment and use smaller jigs in the smaller compartments and bigger jigs in the bigger compartments so let's see what it looks like when I'm done so here we are in process they're cut to fit get ready to slide this one in here you can you can see that they're grooved and ready to slide in to pre-measure to go in like so in the boxes. And I'm gonna do these and this one and we're gonna fill them up with jigs and I'm gonna use these other small containers here for like extra jigs that I don't use all the time. I'm gonna put the ones I use all the time readily available. You know, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots available on each of these. And this one's a little bit longer, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots available there. So I have eight, 16, and 21 in this little section right here, and this would be my overflow jigs. And then up in here, we'll put our readily used trailers, trailers that we use all the time. So when you cut these, 
you want to cut them almost all the way through. Just leave just a little bit on the bottom. This stuff is pretty tough material, so it's not going to fall apart. Just be careful when you cut them. So you just cut them almost all the way through. That way you can get that jig hook all the way down in there so it holds it real firm. You can see it like that. So you're almost all the way through. Don't just cut a little bit. So here we go. Here's the finished product for the jig box that I dumped out. It was an absolute mess. I keep my trailers, my pop, my uh, frequently used trailers here. I've got my chartreuse browns. I've got my brown browns and brown and orange. I got my black and blue bigger jigs. I got my black and blue smaller jigs, some natural crawl colors, some more natural crawl colors, and then I put couple punching skirts with heads on them and these couple holes here brown and orange extra skirts and assorted jigs and these two here and while i was at it i got rid of a lot of old rusty jig heads pieces of skirt and everything else in the world now i will say with this jig box i, I label it with a labeler there jigs but for the bigger jigs, it would probably work a little bit better if we put it in a deeper box because I got standing them up like this, these bigger jigs that barely have room to get the lid closed. It will close on them, but the deeper box might even work a little bit better for the bigger jigs. So it's a good time to do some spring cleaning with your jig box and some of your other boxes. If you like this idea, Please post a like in the bottom. You want to follow me on a regular basis and watch more of these fishing hacks, fishing ideas, and on the water tutorials and lure tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.